All right, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to sign up with Google in your Bubble IO application. So as you can see here, I have a blank canvas with nothing on it. And we have to actually configure a few things in Bubble before we move over to the Google Cloud console. So go to plugins, add plugin, <clears throat> search Google. And we want the one that's made by Bubble itself. So on the left hand side here, scroll down and untick third party developers. So it's only gonna show built by the official, which is Bubble. So that's the one we need, the Google plugin, install. And then we need to fill out a few details here, but as you can see, use a generic redirect URL. We need to actually tick that first. So go ahead and tick that. And then for now, that's all we need to do so far. So we're going to go into the Google Cloud Console. As you can see, I already have it searched. Hit this, you're gonna to have to log in with your Gmail. And up the top left here where my mouse is, we're going to create a new project. So this will be project name, probably more likely gonna be called your application. So whatever your application name is, I'm just gonna call it the channel name for now. And that's loading as you can see there. Uh, we have a tick meaning we are good to go. So now at the hamburger menu up the top left, we're gonna go to the APIs and services and we need to configure an OAuth consent screen. Press that and we need to, oh, sorry, make sure once you create the new project, you need to just actually change to that new project. So as you can see, I was logged in on the old one still it doesn't do it automatically, which is a bit silly. So you need to actually go back into the top left there and change it to your new one that you've just created. <laughs> so press cancel here. And then the user type is going to be external. Hit create, app name. So on the right hand side, it shows you what each field is gonna look like on your sign up screen. So the app name is number one. As you can see, so whatever your app name is, you'll fill it out to match. So for now, I'm just gonna do this. App name, channel name, user support email, email. And we're just gonna do a normal email here. But you actually need to go out and you know fill out your domains, your custom domains, and it will show all here. So save and continue. And so if you continue, you obviously need to go and fill this out, guys, but this is all fine for now. As you can see, everything's all done there. And we're gonna hit back to dashboard. All right, that's fine for now. So up to the left here, we're gonna go to credentials. And the OAuth 2.0 client IDs, we need to actually create some of them right now. So up the top, Create credentials, OAuth client ID. And name this, sorry, this is application type web application, which is obviously what Bubble is. Name, your app name, I'm gonna use Stackless. And we need to add in not an authorized JavaScript origin, but an authorized redirect URI. Add that in there. And this URI is actually that code here, the code, the URL. So. I'll leave this in the description because you actually can't copy it straight off the Bubble plugin screen. So go to the description, copy this, and continue on with the tutorial. So I'm gonna hit that, and we're gonna go create here. All right, as you can see, we now have a few different client IDs and client secret. We're going to hit copy here, and back in the Bubble app itself, we are going to add it into the app ID up here. So the app secret is our client ID we just created. And so is this one down here, app secret dev. Now back on this, the client secret, we're gonna co copy this client secret like so, and we will paste that in the two bottom ones here, just like that. Now we have fully configured our Google Bubble uh, plugin. 
So back on this, we're gonna go okay. And that is fine for now. So now how do we actually sign a user up and actually allow this to be functional in Bubble? So I have a blank canvas here. I'm gonna add in a group. The reason why I'm using a group and not a button is because you can't put icons in buttons. So if you wanted to have a login and you know a login with Google and you wanted the Google icon, you actually can't achieve that by using a button. So instead we use a group and make it look exactly the same as a button. So background style, flat color, we'll go white. Layout, min height, we'll go 48. And we will set the min width to that doesn't matter for now. But what we'll do is add some padding. We'll go 10, 10, 20, 20. Make it look like an actual button. Roundness, we'll go 10. It's creative choice, doesn't matter. You do as you please, guys. All right, we're gonna set this to a row as well because we're stacking elements side by side. Okay, now let's add in text here and we'll just say log in with we'll change the style really quick of that make it a little bit nicer obviously you guys take some time and make it look how you please just bold that fine we'll center that like so and then we're going to add in an icon here next to it and search google we're going to add this one in here I'm just going to change this to the text color like that. It doesn't matter though, however you guys want. Back on the button itself, I'm just going to add in some gap here. Actually, I might need any gap there. And then we're going to fit the width of the content and we're going to center this button in the middle and center the text. So just like that, as you can see, I'll add a border style for you guys. Just so it makes it easier to see. All right, now we need to add the workflows. So when this button is clicked, we're gonna add a workflow and it's going to be account and it's gonna be sign up slash login with a social network. So if you were logging user in, you just need to change the name to login or if you were signing up, you would change it to sign up. So we're gonna press that OAuth provider, Google is there as you can see guys. Press that. And then from here what you can do is obviously you can sign the user up, log the user in, but you need to change that because step one is fine. So that is how you configure it. Now we're gonna go back into the preview here. We're gonna press preview. Then as you can see, you would obviously have like a sign up form with possibly logging with Google at the bottom you know, the, the email, the password, or you can make it easier for your client and allow, allow them to log in with Google. So if we press this, this OAuth is not working because we go back into the plugin. That's ticked itself. Um, I'm quickly gonna fix this here. And it is because, it is because we actually have these in the wrong sections here, guys. So this bottom one, put in the secret key there. This one needs to go into this one here, like that. And this one needs to go into the top one here. So that is my fault, guys, I'm sorry quickly change them around and then let's go back to the preview section here and log in and just like that guys you can now select an account to log in with so that is how you log in with Google it's a you know a very time saving way for your users to log in to an account an already existing account it's more like you know much more likely for someone to actually sign up as opposed to individually entering their email and password. So yeah, it's a really cool way to, you know, save someone some time. So that is how it's done in Bubble. If you like this type of content, please make sure to like, subscribe and comment. 
you know, we upload new tutorials every week and we're getting some good feedback. It's good to see that people are actually enjoying the content and learning some things. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.